Welcome back, folks. Well, joining us now is Taylin Contreras. She's the 2018 cover girl. And Mike Risica, he's the president of the Rio Grande Valley Livestock Show. Thank you both for coming on the show this morning. Thank you for having Thank us. Thank you. Yeah, so tell me a little bit about being a cover girl. Tell me what that's all about. Well, some of the criteria of being a cover girl is being in a 4-H club or an FFA chapter. And then you have to be showing in the previous year and then been a part and be a participant of the current year. Okay. And be a junior at the time of the contest and be under the age of 18. And basically you get to design your own Western theme costume, wow. which is my favorite part. Yeah, yes. right. sounds so fun. Yes. Yes. Now, what did you do for the pageant? What did you kind of come up with? Um, well, the pageant is basically you get to show off everything you've done with the livestock show, with your projects, all the projects you have been a participant of, how many years you've been participating in the livestock show. And it's basically like all your hard work just put into one little contest and you get to prance around in your outfit that you made and you designed and you put all your efforts into this contest. So it's really fun. Definitely. It yes. sounds exciting. Now, we were just talking a little bit about it, that mm -hmm. it happened of March of last year, yes. right? So tell me kind of what you've been doing in this past year. Well, some of my responsibilities were like um, being in the rodeos of last year, mm -hmm. uh, showing my face, and being, uh, helping at the show arenas and passing out ribbons, being at the museum that there is at the livestock show, answering questions that the public might have about the contest or about the livestock show, and also being in the parades and promoting the livestock show and doing interviews for the radio and TV, so it's been a lot of fun. Definitely, it sounds yes. like you've had a busy, busy yes, year. They just had you busy. running all over the place. <laughs> now, what made you want to go out and, you know, try to earn this title? Well, well, I was showing my, my much younger age at sixth grade, and I saw these cover girls working in the show arenas with their beautiful outfits and being a role model for agriculture and the livestock show. And I just knew that I wanted to be part of that and be a role model myself. Definitely, that is yes. most important to kind of do that for, you know, young women mm -hmm. and young yeah. just kids in general to kind mm -hmm. of promote that. Now, what was probably, you know, your favorite thing this past year doing or being a part of? Um, I think the stock show in general, just running around, having a hectic week full of events and activities that I needed to go to. It was just a lot of fun and it was, going to the concerts were amazing and just I can't wait for this year and being able to go to. Definitely. Now mm -hmm. tell us a little bit about the stock show as far as you know what that is for the city of Mercedes. Well it's very big. <laughs> <laughs> and, in case you yes. haven't heard of right. <laughs> <laughs> and it's uh, a chance and an opportunity for s students in 4-H or FFA to show their projects and where all their hard work gets to pay off and where the livestock show really gives back to the students and to the public and it's just very fun for people to come and watch and see what we do and seeing the rodeo also is very fun and everything the, to the carnival to the food and it's just amazing it just sounds exciting yes <laughs> uh, you know i had just moved down here i haven't been to the the livestock show yet I know uh, as much and I've been down here for two years so uh oh I know but it sounds like there's just so much going on and it's so exciting and I'm sure you're there every day yes. all day long and it's you know what is your probably your favorite part um, my favorite part is probably either going to the rodeos because mm -hmm. I just love it and seeing all the kids being able to participate either if it's the mutton bust in or if they're doing the competition mm -hmm. and all this stuff. And also, I really like seeing the projects the kids have because there's a bunch of projects from the animals, the livestock that they have, and um, or like shop projects and horror culture projects. I just think it's really cool to see these students, like all their hard work in this project, and it's really rewarding to see that. Definitely. Yeah. Now, the cover girl, you're right. a cover girl. Kind of tell us a little bit behind that meaning of being a cover girl and the history of the cover girl. Well, the history of the cover girl, it's been going on for quite some time. <laughs> and um, basically, it's just a big history that I'm proud to be a part of. And you get to 
be the cover of the livestock show and right. just promote it in the best you can. Definitely. Yeah. This sounds exciting. Now, your time is almost up. Yes. And I'm sure you've done an amazing job <laughs> this past year. You know, you've been a part of such exciting experiences. I'm sure very memorable ones that you're going to hold near and dear to your heart. Now, coming up, what can we expect in the next, you know, for the next year for the new cover girl? Well, uh, the cover girl actually has been around for 69 years. Wow. We're we've we're celebrating our 79th year. Uh, and uh, really, it b became so, so she would be a representative of the Livestock Show. Mm -hmm. Like she says, Taylor has done all kinds of things this year, and we've been very proud of her, and she's represented us very well. And uh, but the Livestock Show has, uh, uh, in its 79th year, we had 250,000 people My came goodness. through the gates last year. We have over 3,500 3, entries this year, over 1,000 kiddos that are exhibiting, 600 volunteers. Uh, from uh, cattle to goats to sheep to lamb, uh, uh, chickens to uh, art to uh, uh, photography. Uh, the wow. shop projects are huge. But uh, we are really excited about this year. We've, this is our second year with our brand new parking lot. Uh, everybody <laughs> can have to get off and get muddy. They can walk right into the ground. So we're excited and we're wanting everybody to come out for sure. It sounds exciting. Now, you will be crowning a new cover girl yes. in two weeks, two weeks. the March third, I believe. Correct. Is that correct? Yes. So what are some of the things that you look for in a cover girl? What are some of the Well, first products? of all, they have to fill out a big application. And like <laughs> Taylor said, it's a big application. It fills all the stuff that they've done over the years in Forage and FFA at the Livestock Show. Uh, also, we look for beauty. We look for poise. Mm -hmm. uh, her outfit, uh, you know, uh, uh, everything that she put into her outfit and her boots, uh, her hat. Uh, we look for personality. We look for her uh, uh, j just the whole package and uh, this year we have 38 contestants wow it's going to be a big big contest this year and oh my uh, goodness. Uh, so we're looking forward to that uh, uh, happening definitely and can people come can attend the oh yes the anybody contest, can, of course. Uh, uh, can come uh, it's going to be on at Saturday night of the third uh, there at the the, the uh, event center there at the livestock show and everybody is welcome and uh, it's going to be a great event we have a great time uh, and uh, yes, anybody's invited for sure. Well, thank you all so much for coming on the show. Taylin, you've had a wonderful year, I'm sure. Thank you so much for coming on. Congratulations on a fantastic year again. <laughs> thank you. All right, thank you so much for coming thank on the you. show this we Sunday. Appreciate we appreciate it. it. Yes. All right, folks. Well, thank you so much for joining us this Sunday. We hope you'll tune in next weekend. Have a great day.